What is up guys, welcome back to another review. So yes, in this video, we're gonna be doing a review on another camera. You guys know how much I love my cameras. Honestly, the last review video that I did on the GoPro, which is the camera setup that I have right now, which I'm filming on, did so good on the channel. I was like, you know what, I have this other new camera that I haven't even really played around with. I haven't even opened it yet. Let's open it in this video and let's start using it. Let's do an unboxing and let's do a review. By the way, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Kenneth, I go by Ken, and welcome to my channel where I do daily vlogs, I talk about small business, and I also occasionally do reviews on cameras or other tech stuff that I buy to use here in the channel or to use for my small business. So let's jump into this unboxing and review of the Polaroid Now. So a little bit of a backstory with this camera. This camera, I originally didn't buy it for myself. It was supposed to be a gift for my significant other but that relationship went nowhere and I kept the camera because I never even got the chance to give it to them. So now it's mine and now we're gonna open it. I'm actually super excited for this because I honestly have been wanting a Polaroid for a really long time now and well, I kinda got one without even trying to get one for myself. But yes, here is the camera. I'm also filming over here on my iPhone so you guys can get a better look at this beautiful camera. You guys know how much I love instant cameras. I've done reviews on Instax cameras before here on my channel and this is the first time that I own a Polaroid so I'm very very excited to use it. So as you can see this is the camera, this is what it looks like, a 360 view of it. This is the back part, sides and front. Also it comes with a strap. Other things that are inside the box are a charger and a little instruction pamphlet, which we're just gonna to toss inside because I don't think we're gonna need that for now. So as you can see, the strap is already on the camera and this is obviously so you could put it around your neck and it's safely hanging from you and the probability of dropping it is a lot less when you have it strapped around your neck looking at it like this it looks a lot simpler than the instax cameras that i've had before like this one is just very very plain looking a lot bigger i would say and here is the button in the back um here this little hole this tells you what um how many pictures you have left inside like film the power button and the little flash button and of course the little hole over here so you guys can look through the camera also as you can see the camera has a flash it has the viewfinder right there or like the other way of the viewfinder and over here it has a timer and there's a couple features that you could do with it i can't really remember I, i'm gonna have to read the instructions but there's a couple features that you could do with it when you press the timer I think it has like a selfie mode as well, um, which I guess that would be the timer. But it also has something else that I don't remember what it is. I'm going to have to read the instructions. But yeah, over here on the side, it has the button to open the cartridge, which goes here in the front. This just lifts down and then you just insert it in there. Not like the Instax cameras that the cartridge door is on the back. So this camera, I bought it on eBay and I got it around for like $70 which is less than the original price. It is new, like the box was new, like everything is new from this camera. And I also decided on getting some film, obviously to test it out. Like I said, this is the Polaroid now. Here on the box, it tells you what other uh, film packs you can use because it's not only one choice that you have. You can use the Polaroid, BMW, I type film. You can use the color, I type film. And you could also use the BMW, 600 film and the color 600 film i have to like brush up on what the different types of film do like what is best or like what offers um like what different things does it have like different features when it comes to the film i guess it would be like the film quality and the colors and how it will look obviously black and white and color that's just obvious. Here, as you guys can see, I bought a color film pack, and this was the color I type film. This came out in around $12 for eight photos. So it brings eight photos in the cartridge, like eight little film, 
and I do have to say it is a lot more expensive than the Instax cut Instax you could find them for like ten dollars and it's like ten film like ten little pages that are inside so I accidentally inserted the cartridge in here without pressing the film button like the record button um, nonetheless it's already inside we're gonna test it out I feel like this unboxing has been the shortest unboxing that I've ever done on this channel because it's just literally two things that it brings so I do want to take a picture of the store I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna see what little corner of the kiosk I want to photograph and just commemorate it and have it forever on film so let's see So I took my first Polaroid picture. It is already developing quite quickly. And honestly, it's a lot closer than I thought it would be. So the zoom in is very, very close. As you could see, you could see a little bit there. It's very, very zoomed in. And I was standing all the way over here, like against it. And it looks like I'm literally like really up close to it when I'm actually not. So we're gonna give this a few minutes to develop completely. And then we'll come back and look at the picture together. Okay, we're back. It's been like 30 minutes and the picture, I feel like it's already fully developed. This is what the picture is looking after about 30 minutes of being taken. I feel like it looks very, very bright, very washed out. Um, the color red is the one that's popping out the most. Um, I don't know if it's because I took the picture with flash on. Maybe that's the reason why. But all in all, I feel like those vintage looking colors are there. It does look very old and very nostalgic. So I love that feel about it. That haze and kind of blurriness. But also it does feel sharp like with the blacks. I really do feel if it was less bright, it would have been a lot better. But this video isn't over. We're gonna keep on testing this camera during the week and we're gonna keep on taking more pictures in different lighting, different times of the day, and we're gonna test it out with flash and without flash. Beautiful rincón in all its glory. We're gonna be trying out and taking some pictures with this amazing view in the background. Okay, so we're here at Joanne's house. So I brought the Polaroid. We're gonna be using this blank wall over here. It's dark at night, so obviously we're gonna be testing it out with this type of lighting, like in the dark, but we also have this light up there. And yeah, we also brought some props. And obviously it's Lost in Paradise merchandise that we're gonna be using for the video, or the picture, should I say. So even though you guys can't see me, we're gonna start taking some pictures right now using the Polaroid now. Okay, so we took the first one and it's still here. Wait, it's still here developing. So we have to give it a few minutes while it comes out. And even though I've already tested a few of these during the daytime and some of the pictures came out with like a really weird effect to it. So I don't know if it's like that, if it's meant to be like that or if the um, pack of film maybe it's damaged so let's see I still have five more pictures in that camera like in the film pack and then after that we'll switch it to the new pack and we could see how good it's actually working oh well here here goes it's actually coming out oh, once it's out I'll show you guys these pictures are coming out super nice they're still developing I love them. but you could kind of see a little bit show that one you could kind of see a little bit that one's almost done yes and then we took another one still developing but it's gonna come out super nice this is a closer you can kind of see something there already yeah you can kind of see something but we're gonna keep on making some more magic and testing 
this camera out in the dark. So it's been a couple of weeks of me trying the Polaroid now and it's time to sit down and give you guys a full-on review of what I think about the Polaroid now. As you can see, I thought this video would be the perfect video for me to wear this Polaroid shirt that I got at Walmart a couple years ago. But yeah, jumping into this review, I actually have a couple notes that I wrote down because I didn't want to forget anything. I want to start first with the cons of the camera. So as you guys saw throughout this video, I've been testing it in different places, different locations, different lighting, um, like at night, during the day, evening, sunset, all of that. Like literally, I think I got shots of every single like light during the day. I have all the pictures here that I want to show you guys, but the first con that I have, it's what I've noticed the most in all the pictures is the sharpness and focus. So in all these pictures, I honestly have noticed that they're not as focused or sharp as I thought they were going to be. I have been using Instax cameras for like the past almost 10 years, I think. And I'm used to that type of film where I feel the pictures are very, very sharp in comparison to the Polaroid now. Second point is the brightness. So there's a lot of the pictures that I took at night that came out super bright. I was using flash, but literally it was pitch black at night. Like for example, these four pictures were taken, literally it was like eight or nine o'clock at night and they are so blown out. Like, I don't know why the lighting is just so ugly. To be honest, the only one that I really like, well, these two I like, and then the rest, this one, like you can't even tell, like it just doesn't look good at all. This is the worst picture that I have and this one will be going to the garbage. Like I can manage with all the other ones, but this one is just literally trash. I have this other picture, which I took at the shop. I feel like it's way too bright for the lighting. Um, something that I did not try that I should mention is that I didn't try taking pictures without flash. So I don't know what that would look like. And I feel like I should have tested that, but I kind of forgot just like the option of even taking out the flash. I feel like with the brightness, the best pictures that came out were these four. This was at a game night that I went with some friends and I took some pictures of the group. Um, the full group didn't fit in one picture. So I ended up taking two pictures of each side. And I feel like the lighting came out really well. But again, the focusness is just not there. Third point that I noticed in these pictures are like the damaged edges to it. So like in the printing itself, like when it was developing, almost all of them have these really weird lines on the edges. So for example, this one, like on this edge right here and on the bottom, you can see some like lines and then the same thing, like literally exactly the same on this picture of the game night with the friends and there's a couple of other pictures this one also came out with that thing in the side i don't know what's wrong with those lines but i don't know if it's that the film that i bought was old or expired or something but that was just really weird i need to buy more film because i did use it all i need to buy more film because i want to keep on testing that out to see like if they all come out like that, I don't think so because I have other Polaroid pictures that I, I've been given um, of pictures that my friends have taken of me and whatever and they don't look like this even though I will say they do look um, blurry like it doesn't look sharp at all the other ones so I feel like that's just the type of camera. Con number four is 
the lines so I in this picture you could really see those really weird lines in the photograph there's a lot of them that came out with these lines as well I feel like most of them do this one came out with the lines as well um, and then there was one this one also came out with those lines so it's just really weird how those lines come out and then like in the exact same spot and that's why I feel that maybe the cartridge was just um, damage or something the film maybe was expired because that's just really weird con number five is the dust so in a lot of them there's a lot of dust in this picture in particular which was the first ever picture that I took with the camera um, the first day that I was testing it out I don't mind the dust at all because it actually looks like a filter it, it looks like I edited it like that and there's just like pixie dust just flying around but no that's just dust from the film and the same thing, there is dust in other pictures as well. In the ones that I took with my friends, these have that same dust, which is just really odd. I don't really get why there's dust on them. Um, I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. And then my last two cons don't even have to do with the photographs themselves. It has to do more with the cartridge and like the film pack. I will say that eight photos I feel like it's a little compared to the 10 photos that you get in an Instax. Obviously, I would prefer to get 10 than 8. That just sounds better and I feel like it would sell better too. Like, instead of getting 8 photos in a pack, you get 10. I guess it's that I'm just used to using the Instax like I said before. And then the last con is regarding that like 8 pack, like 8 photos in one pack. I feel that it's expensive because you are paying more money for an 8-pack than what I pay for a 10-pack in the, in, with the Instax. So in comparison, Instax cameras are a lot cheaper than Polaroid cameras. Now for some pros. I do have some pros for this, even though I have more cons than pros. Um, first pro is the vintage look. So even though I said that it's very blurry, it's not sharp at all, um, the edges look damaged and there's dust and lines on them and I don't really love that that adds to the overall feel of the photos looking vintage but I wish they would look vintage not now because I just took these like I wish they would look like this in a few years from now so I do love the vintage feel to them because it's very nostalgic but at the same time, I wish they would look better and they would age better with time. The second pro that I have is that I do really love the size of these films. Like these are so much better than the Instax because the sizing of the Instax is just so small. First of all, the standard is a little rectangle one, which is nice, but it's very, very small. And then they do have the square one, which is like a little bit newer and it's still smaller than this one. The square one like it literally fits like I feel like inside the actual picture of this one like not including the borders so I do prefer this sizing a lot better than the Instax and the last pro is very random but it's something that I really like and I appreciate that touch that Polaroid is adding to their film packs and it's a having different covers on their film pack so every cover of film pack that you buy has a different quote so once you like click the button for the first time once you like insert the pack the first thing that comes out is the um like cover the paper and all of them have a different quote on it and i really really like that this one says dream on and i just feel like it's something really cute and really nice that i actually want to start keeping them and collecting them because i really like them maybe i'll even use them in my scrapbook for later on and then the second one for the other film pack that i had um says what i want to be when i grow up so i just really like these little details i feel that is very fun and just different so those are my pros and cons of the polaroid now camera if i would have to rate it from one to ten i would rate it a I would rate it a 7.5 because I feel like the nostalgia is just really giving it like three points because all of them just have such a nostalgic feel like the pictures and the actual like look of the camera is very vintage and I really really love that I'm very into that and yeah just like these little details are really really nice as well and again like the sizing all of that I feel like it makes it have 
7.5 points out of 10. So I honestly do recommend the camera if you guys have never tried it. I do recommend playing around with it. I'll be giving you guys more updates during the next videos that I film if I'm using the camera um, because I do want to learn how to use it better and all of that and try to use it without the flash. I have to remember that. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below what was your favorite part of this video. Um, like what experience of me showing you guys like actually using the camera. Or what was your favorite picture out of the ones that I showed you guys. Um, I would love to know. And if you guys are interested in following me in my social media for more of me. Just click down in the description box. You can find my Instagram, TikTok, and my business, Instagram, TikTok, website, and all of that good stuff is down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.